For more analysis of uh, the situation in Ukraine and the peace plan, let's talk to Gerald Salenta, publisher of the Trends Journal. He joins us live now. Mr. Salenta, Western leaders have rushed to back Petro Poroshenko's peace plan. Will it really restore peace in Ukraine? No, of course it won't. And let us not forget that the uh, Western leaders also supported the overthrow of the Yanukovych government. And what did that bring? So what they supported is more really instability and unrest. So this won't do anything. Uh, their, their support really means nothing to the internal conflict. It's going to continue as we see it. Is there any chance the country will reunite as one with Poroshenko as president, especially after so much bloodshed, or will Ukraine remain, remain split uh, for decades to come? Well, from what I could read of the, the so-called steps of this peace plan, it's more like a surrender package. Uh, they're asking the, the people that oppose the, the Kiev government to surrender. That's what this is. It's, there's no, the word peace is the, is the wrong word to use in it. Now, we, as we see it, this is going to escalate into a very volatile civil war with the threat of it spreading over the borders if it's not contained. Actually, because there's, there, there are other underlying factors in here that really add to the instability. And that, of course, is the very weak economy at a time when you also have now escalating energy prices due to the instability of what's going on in Iraq and the Middle East. So when you put this combination on top of warring factions, you have really a recipe for disaster that if it's not quieted rather than inflamed by both the, all of the outside forces, this could turn into something that could destabilize not only Ukraine and Russia, but also much of Europe. Actually, that was going to be my next question as to, you know, you speak about the instability in Ukraine. Is that going to be a threat to Europe? Again, when you have to add on all the other factors going into this, as I said, Ukraine was already in a severe recession. Now it's going to go into a depression. So you have a lot of angry people with no work and no future. Throw on top of that rising energy crisis, uh, prices at a time when they can't even pay the bills that they already have. And now this, of course, is going to affect uh, uh, Europe. And you're hearing more and more coming from NATO, uh, particularly the NATO leader, and what they have to do in order to quell Russia's involvement. So yes, it's going to become much worse. I don't see anything from this plan that's going to make it better. Again, it's merely terms for surrender, not a movement toward peace. Gerald Salenta, publisher of the Trends Journal, sharing his thoughts on the situation in Ukraine as well as that peace plan that Mr. Poroshenko has just released. Thank you very much.